A world enveloped in permanent darkness is a world that breeds tough people. But even the toughest cannot survive the horrors that come shambling from the dark. For the darkness brings zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new Ringworld series, welcome my friends, and yes, we have zombies this time around. I am also using a couple of modifications to uh, this whole thing. I'm, uh, I have set this planet to have a permanent eclipse, so it is dark, and I'm using Darker Nights mod to make it even more scary. You know, when the actual zombies arrive, we're gonna have to set up lights all around this place to make sure that we'll be able to see where the zombies are and such and you know be able to protect ourselves for that we also have a rimsonol mod collection that brings with it a lot of kind of cool weapons that we can bring to bear against various zombies that will be out there and of course other raider factions that will try to probably attack us and take what is ours although there really isn't much that is ours currently. Now, these four people over here, Drosmo, Amiri, Lost and Nuke are the four guys that were the last remaining guards of a faction that was wiped out. These guys were the last men standing and these guys are here to hopefully stay and survive and do something with their lives. And the four have a simple religion. They are architectic, doctrine people, something like that. They are loyalists. Nothing special about this religion. Who knows, maybe one day it's gonna be special, but for now, they're just simple-minded people with one goal in their lives. They're here to destroy the zombies that have destroyed their old lives. Of course, as always, you guys can join too. Just use the template that will be provided in the description below and post your backstory with your name and everything like that, just using the template in the comments below and I will put you on the list to get you in. Now, of course, these four guys are my top four Patreon supporters. So if you want a cheat or easy way to get in faster, well, you can always become my Patreon supporter if you so desire. No pressure though, I will try to get everybody in as I always do. Now, since we do live in a uh, permanent darkness, it's gonna be kinda tough actually getting something to grow. So what we can use over here is Nutrifungus. You know, one of the one of the new things that Ideology brought with it. So that's what we're gonna try to grow for food. There's still, of course, it says cannot live when exposed to light. Well, it's, it's dark out here, 0%. So we're fine. Of course, we can always hunt animals. If you look around, there's, there's animals out here. There's some elephants and we have a couple hours before the first zombies might appear uh so we gotta have to be we gotta have to be careful on that one because zombies will of course also attack various animals so they might kill the animals that we could otherwise use to eat and such oh, apparently the nutri fungus want the roofed area huh uh you know what if that is the case then we're gonna switch to glow stool over here that one you should be able to grow right it's again unroofed um, that's strange. You would think that they could actually do this. Alright, well, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna roof it then. Not exactly what I had in mind, but sure. It shouldn't be really too big of a deal. We probably can just do something like this. Now that it's roofed, now we can do this. Okay, Nutrifungus coming right in. You love to see it. And we have a place for these guys to sleep for the first night. Beautiful. Now they have a table as well, and we're gonna be making stone blocks here forever, whoever can make them. Uh, we are in the shrubland, so I'm guessing wood is not gonna be really a thing we'll be getting a lot out of. Also, we do have a Gavi that are ready to harvest, so those could be the ones that we could grab. Shall we get maybe rid of this ancient fence and replace it with something else? Because it seems to me that these guys can just walk over the fence. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, these ancient fences really aren't gonna do it, huh? I mean, they look cool. You would you would hope that these fences would actually do something for you. But they don't. So, for now, 
they're just here to look cool, I guess. We are also making some uh, flatten, flattening steel into metal sheets. This is basically metal that is just weaker than normal steel, but you can get more out of it, you know? So we're gonna use that maybe for floors and maybe for some like inner rooms and such like that, but we don't necessarily need to be that strong. So the metal wall has 180 hit points and the normal steel wall has 600, so you can see how, uh, you know, one could be easier to make than the other. Also, we're gonna appropriate this stuff over here. Just gonna, just gonna go in here. We're gonna need to start making some... Start to make some power. And we're gonna start to make some research. Now, where are we gonna get power? What can we use to get power? That is, uh, that's a very good question right now. I don't think uh, solar panels are gonna do it this time around. So, while I hate the wind turbines, I think uh, I think that's what we must have to try. We're gonna try building a couple of wind turbines, and we'll see what we can get out of those. There you go, getting some floors into our bedroom. They might be granite, and I don't think granite is very comfortable. But at least we have flooring over here. We don't need to sleep out here in the dirt. Hey, you two, stop insulting each other. That's just just not nice. Just down here is gonna be our research area. We're gonna just open up with a simple research bench made out of granite because I mean, granite is what we have right now. What Drosmo is producing. We're gonna get some power down here. We're gonna get some light down here. Yoink right there, and would be nice if we could actually do a stool or some kind of a chair, but it would be smart to do it out of the metal instead of uh, wasting our precious little wood that we're gonna have. And we do have some compacted steel out here, so I'm gonna send my miner to start working on this. This might be some kind of ancient crap. We will learn soon. I do have a mod that turns on lights as you go around. You can you can turn them on forever, but uh, you'll see when Lost pops out eventually. Come on, Lost, you got this, buddy. When he's gonna finish building this, see, he goes out and the wall light is on standby, which I think is really cool. I like that. But since we are living in darkness, I'll probably keep all of my lights on forever. But, you know, tables that are not used, that are otherwise powered by electricity, are not gonna be uh, not gonna be powered when you're not actually using them. Let's uh, first research batteries. We're gonna we're gonna need them if we are doing this power. Also, I've not seen any zombies show up yet, which is which is good. They they certainly will start showing up. I guess just not quite yet, which is uh, which is good for us. Actually, I lie. We do have zombies around. There's this guy wandering over yonder, and. There's more of the moseying closer. Alright, we're gonna have to be careful about that one. They certainly are coming right at us. Uh, let's... Let's wake the boys. Yeah, that's the sound of the zombie. Let's, uh, let's get closer. Let's make sure these guys are dealt with. Come on, boys. Yoink, and... Where's the last one? It's further out here. What is it? What, what is it? Ah, it's out here. All right, go get it, boys. Try not shooting each other. This guy's talking about brains. Awesome. All right, good. <laughs> These guys dealt with. Now we're gonna eat without table, which is gonna probably cause issues. See, now that Nuke pops in here, starts researching, the light turns on, which is awesome. And did we find ancient danger? Oh yeah. So this is ancient danger. Okay. That's, that's fine. We're gonna dig this steel, and what we really need now is to set up a bit of a perimeter. Maybe just set up some walls that zombies can't that easily breach. It's a very open area out here. We live in a very open area, but that's just the way it is. Battery research done. I think now we're gonna just start making it uh, our way down here through the smithing and, you know, the machining and then gunsmithing and all that stuff, as you usually do. And down here we are slowly building a wall, just for now just using these steel walls that we had over here to start blocking some stuff. Uh, we do have 120 granite, which is what we're probably gonna be using over here, also definitely don't want to make it this way. 
Let's uh, let's do something like this. And then something like that. That's gonna block this side off a bit. We love to see it. Also, because we have these packets around me and all stuff outside, I want it to hold just the three things that really deteriorate the most in here so these things are safe uh we're gonna be building a battery over here so we can have a battery when these bad boys are not producing enough power we can have at least that oh we can actually see a beautiful aurora lights up the sky one of the rare times it's so bright holy shit <laughs> i'm not used to this wow oh uh, we can see boys we can actually see. We get to name our faction and we get to name our settlement. So, we're gonna be lost remnants as we are the last remnants of, well, probably an ancient faction. Who knows what we know about it. Lost remnants, basically, that's gonna be our new faction name. And this place is gonna be the last stand. where The place where we do make a stand against the threat of the zombies. Now, we probably won't have much food for a while, but I still think it would be smart to start building some kind of a fridge and we're gonna do that over here right now this is gonna be our fridge for now just a small one um, maybe we should do double walls just to make sure that this stays nice and cold something like this will be appropriate of course and then we can do some more of that actually let's increase the size of this maybe something like this and we have gunsmithing done i think i'm gonna switch to microelectronics now uh, yeah, that's that's fine start doing this and we're gonna yoink in a cooler in here for that we need some power going this way it's very dark in here dark as a dungeon out in the mine but we this bad boy over here Faction defense. Temporary camp of rival faction is under attack. Oh, interesting. That would be so unfortunate. Yeah, we don't care about it. Uh, let it be. Make sure that this one is cold and in here we got just the food. Probably could use some flooring. That would be smart. We have a lot of sandstone, so let's for now just uh, do sandstone. Uh, we have some merchants incoming. Let's make sure that they know where to go my uh, trading spot uh, let's send them here maybe come on in boys we, we can trade over there who is my uh, best social boy that would be nuke who's sleeping right now sure let's go trade with these guys see if they've got anything that would interest us hello friends you guys got cobras yeah i think we'll pass on that <laughs> uh, and blow guns and bows i don't think they're gonna do amazingly well against zombies and of course anything else so i think for now we'll have to pass on these dudes i do see we have some agave over here and berries that we could harvest this wouldn't be the worst having just some extra food stored is there more i thought i saw a couple more over here we'll take that there doesn't seem to be any zombies on the map right now which is cool we can always hunt these bad boys we're gonna have to prepare it's not oh this hasn't been built yet it's so dark you can't even see uh we're gonna have to prepare a like a butcher area and a kitchen area maybe all next to these snakes yeah i think we're gonna have to uh move this bad boy a bit further out here yeah, you guys go there oh transfer pod crash archer named marco is crashed nearby uh it is lost this lost spotter hello marco what do you do Wow, he's bleeding out bad. Yeah, I mean, he's being cut. Who's my best uh, doctor? Nuke. Nuke. Go stabilize. Stabilize Marco. We're gonna we're gonna rescue him. I don't think we're gonna capture him. I'm gonna rescue the man. Because why not? But stabilize him first. Make sure that he doesn't bleed out on the ground over here. And then just rescue him. If he wants to join us, fine. If he doesn't want to join us, also fine. Marco. You enjoy that. What's your uh, what's your gear like? Just a panther shirt. Oh, zombies. Looks like we have 12 popping up out here. These guys are going to start attacking animals. And I see Lost is already here. Yoinking them. Alright, Lost, you might start pulling back a bit. 
draws must come in. Mm, let's actually just grab everybody, pull them back a bit, although we're kind of trapped if we go in here. But it might pull the zombies towards these guys. These guys might help us out. Oh, they're fighting a fox over there as well. Alright, these guys are coming in there, fighting the iguanas and shit. Perfect. Alright. Yoing them, boys. That guy's coming close. Lost, you might want to pull back, buddy. Whew. That was, that was too close for comfort. These guys are still up here. There's still six zombies around. Let's go a bit further. Let's go out there. These guys are all fighting out here, eating that poor fucking fox. Rack em, boys. <laughs> They're eating the fox. Alright, three zombies remain. I think that's probably... Yeah, that's these three. Let's, let's go forward. We do have these guys actually shooting at them as well, but they have bows and arrows, you know. What can they do? We also have a tough time actually hitting these, because it's so dark, you know. So that's going to be making it even harder for us to kill zombies, because we are fighting inside the darkness. So Emu is going mad. Ow, my torso, says the zombie. I don't think zombies are supposed to talk, but this is fine. Okay, the last zombie and the emu. Don't let the zombie eat the emu. Come on. Alright, we're good. No zombies left on the map, I think. I think that's good. These will disappear pretty quickly. Now, I don't know if uh, a fox that has been torn apart by zombies is safe to eat, though. Nuke, you gotta have to go tend to Marco. I will allow good, mes good medicine for him right now, but he's got infection in his leg. You gotta give him good treatment for this one, otherwise he might... Uh, I don't know what happened to him. Also, we have a cool mod that adjusts the way the chairs are next to tables and such. Like, we can push this one further back over here. You see, push this one. Okay, that one looks weird because it has that bar. Can we adjust this one? Hey, you know, it looks cool. Uh, we can adjust this one to be further that way. But then I think we're going to leave that one as is. So, these are, like, really cool things you know you can you can push these against the table this table can go just up and down but yeah you have cool things like that and we can push these beds further up there although it kind of looks weird when they sleep but this is fine you can push these ones no these ones can stay normal cool things like that i like it over here i wanted to build a kitchen i think we're gonna go with I think we're gonna go with something like this. Yeah, and this can then be a door. Let's make sure it's a metal door. This is gonna be our kitchen and probably a butcher area. Maybe not the, the smartest place for it, but it, it's got this close by. We have some ways to walk in between. Although, you know what? We're not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna make sure that these two are close to each other. Maybe we can do something like that and the reason why i'm making sure these guys are close to each other so we can actually walk through here and prevent zombies from walking through so for now we're just gonna do something like that so this is a natural barrier zombies have to go around if they want to come to us cargo pods what do we just get a bunch of neutramine yeah i don't know if that's gonna be the most useful thing how's marco doing marco's just chilling over there uh we're setting up this as a for now, this is going to be kitchen. The back here can be a butcher area. And for now, we don't have a way to go through here quite yet. Also, I'm leaving this light on permanently. Because it doesn't take that much to keep these lights on. But at least we have lights, you know, in the darkness. Wow, a group of poor travel travelers won 360 of our silver. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. I think uh, I, think I don't want to do that. Screw you, I'm not giving you my uh, silver. Also, we are still uh, just moving some of these blocks of stone that we are fighting out here. And they will serve as temporary walls for us right now, so the zombies can't quite make it to us. Alright, we have the Empire uh, thing going on. We have Mastica Dosen, a Baroness of the Broken Empire, calling for nearby. She is followed by a man-hunting cat. We'll accept it. And we can accept with... Who is our best social? 
That would be nuke. We will accept that quest with nuke. Sure. Yoink. So she's gonna come over here. We're gonna have to protect her from a man-hunting cat. Look, if we can't protect her from a goddamn man-hunting cat, I don't think we're gonna have a chance surviving against the many zombies that are be coming in here anyway. So, come on, cat, come in here, and uh, we'll be we'll be ready for you. Nuke and Hashem, Amiri, come out here. Destroy the cat. Good job. Sorry, cat. Uh, you're you have scar, yeah, so it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna hunt you. We have our butcher's area done, so we're gonna butcher creatures over here forever. There's the shuttle. Very loud shuttle. You go load yourself up. Over here we're gonna start cooking what? Just some uh, simple meals. For now, maybe we'll do that. Let's cook simple meals until we have like definitely not that many two per colonist three per colonist we're gonna do that and we can yoink in here maybe one of these uh where's that gonna be under storage yeah we're gonna grab a wall dual refrigerator i'm gonna yoink it over there and we're making uh, meals out of berries perfect also uh nuke of course is now a freeholder and we're gonna be able to do the ceremony for him but we're not gonna do that anytime soon or at least not quite yet, because we don't really have the resources to make sure that that stays true. So let's do this. Definitely also need somebody that can do more cleaning for us. Because we do live in dirty places. So Marco, hey, do you want to join us, buddy? We fixed your infection. We healed you. Might want to join us. Like, for real, though. <laughs> we need somebody to clean this shit up. Really? This thing already broken down? Come on, after... Man... We just, we just used it for the first time around. Hey, uh, clean this room up, buddy. There you go, Trosmo. We're gonna need to have some pads between over here because we have so much sand just going on. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be very dirty if we don't do that. Also, where are you going, buddy? Just going for a walk? Be very careful where you go for a walk out here. Let me tell you, buddy, this is, uh, it's pretty scary. Hey, Microtronic's done. Awesome. We're gonna go, what is Biosculpting? I'm not quite sure. Uh, we're gonna go for multi net analyzer soon, but it's not quite needed. I mean, colored lights. Let's be real. That's one of those more important things. Uh, Marco, we're gonna have to move your bed a bit. I'm sorry, buddy, because you see, we're gonna now be building a bigger place over here. Uh, you go rescue Marco, please. Because he is, you know, sleeping in the ground. We're destroying this and we're gonna rebuild this with a bigger and awesomer research bench table thing. I also have a feeling these goddamn animals are eating my nutri fungus. Aren't you goddamn animals? We'll fix that. Uh, also, there you go. Uh, this one is gonna be critical. I'm gonna put all the meals in here. Not the packet survival meals. Not the nutrient paste meals. But the rest of these guys. Yoing them in here. Perfection. We need a storage spot as well uh, to store all these things that would be preferable high-tech research bench is gonna get built soon and we have the criminal bandits coming wow that's seven of these motherfuckers already huh uh, all right all right it's quite a quite a starting raid uh, zombies where you at bros we have no defense prepared do we so this is gonna this is gonna get rough we do outrange them. They will probably come around here. So maybe what we can do is position ourselves back here. They're going... Where are you going? You're going straight for the doors. Alright, make sure that you guys are at least hiding over there. They're spreading out a bit, which is good. The melee boys are coming after us. The rest are seeking uh, safety over there. Alright, time to kiss your ass goodbye. Try not to destroy my wind turbines, you silly bitties. Let that guy go. We we fucking wrecked them. Oh, you'll love to see it. Alright, uh, we actually do have John and Baron over here that we could potentially recruit. If, of course, we had a prison for them. Which we really do not have. We could put them into Butcher's area for a second. Could do something like this. 
<laughs> for just a moment. Uh, did anybody get hurt? We did not get hurt. That's good. Uh, let's make sure. Nuke, you are my main doctor, right? Yes. Uh, nuke, go stabilize. And Lost, you go stabilize these guys. And, well, they brought us some, some good stuff. So, we'll have to see it. Look at all this blood, though. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, the man is not bleeding anymore. Go, go capture them. How about this guy? Right, not longer bleeding. Go capture them. We're gonna yong them in here. Let's see how hard are they to recruit. Actually, not hard. Let's let's make sure we do that. And let's try to recruit these guys. And of course, that job should come down to Nuke. He's gonna be the main dude when it comes to this. And I think with our first raid done, with no zombies around right now, and two prisoners in here, one potential recruit over here if he ever decides to join. It looks like we're not feeding them, huh? We're just not we're just not feeding them. Nuke, would you mind uh, feeding him? Is that a nurse job? That should be a nurse job, right? I think so. Uh, you know what? Lost? No, Lost is building. We're gonna have Amiri do some nurse stuff. I mean, you're, you're cutting stuff, but yeah, for now. Let's do that. Feed Marco. There you go. Marco, you're maybe gonna stop starving. We'll we'll see when it comes to that. And of course, Wonder Wardening Duty. Nuke can do that. The elephants. Did they eat? Did they just fucking eat all of my mushrooms? Well, next episode, we fucking murder all of this. Yaroslav? Why did he turn into a zombie? It's a good question, but he did. Bruce also turned into a zombie, so I guess everybody's got that thing. Why are you not shooting them? Ah, because they are not in range. Makes sense. Oh, they're going for the emu. The emu is mad. There might be more mad emus. Uh, hello, Nuke is feeding them. Lost, come down here. Amiri, you ain't over here. Uh, let's pull back, Drosmo. Pull back, buddy. Amir, come over here. Lost, come over here, buddy. He cheated and died. <laughs> oh my god. And we thought... Okay, get the... Get that guy as well. Alright. Well, we gotta make sure... That these guys don't come back. Well, for now. Thank you, buddy, for watching. You got the idea of how this uh, playthrough is gonna go. We got zombies. We got raiders. We have these guys trying to make it out here. Thank you for watching. And this motherfucker just walked straight into our, into this thing, through the wall. Beautiful. I'll see you next time.